All right, hey, y'all, y'all already know what time it is and what day it is. What is it? It's Motivational Monday. That's right, that's right, that's right. So it is Holy Week. So it's a very, very exciting week, especially for uh, Christians. It is Holy Week. Holy Week started yesterday. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. And today is Holy Monday. So this is the week that we remember the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Um, sometimes during this week, people do a sacrifice. Some give up, you know, their favorite fruit, um, things. Um, they fast. I know that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't eat after 6. And in the mornings, I don't eat until 11. So they say to stay within, you know, the willpower that you can do and what you can't do. So that's what I'm doing. That's my sacrifice this week. So Palm Sunday was yesterday. Biblically, we know that in the Bible, Jesus was coming, walking, not walking, but he was riding on a donkey, coming through Jerusalem. And people were shouting, waving their palm branches because of this exciting time and all that. So on today, Holy Monday, biblically, Jesus cursed the fig tree. He cleansed the te temple and he responded to people questioning his authority. You know, they would say he's not the king of the Jews and things like that. Okay. So you can find all of this in John 12, 1 through 19, where it talks about all of this, what I'm talking about now. So, uh, of course, by the end, we know that ultimately Jesus gives up the cross on the cross. That's why I'm actually wearing this shirt on today, because this is actually Hebrew for Jesus' last words of it is finished. And, you know, I, I commit my spirit. So he basically gave up the ghost, which means that, you know, he died. And on three days, he rose. So that is why I said that y'all should be excited for this week because Jesus rose three days later. So I don't know about you, but you should be excited. You should be happy on the day because what Jesus did for us was he solved a 2,000 year old problem that was going on all the way back in Old Testament. 2,000 years of sin and us not, you know, doing right, making mistakes and all of that. We are now, we are not cursed. We are not doomed. And one day, we have the opportunity to rise and go to be with our Father in heaven. And you can't tell me that that is not a blessing within itself. Who do you know that loves you so much that they would die for you? Who do you know that cares about you that much to where he was seeing his only begotten son to suffer and die on the cross. Who do you know that would do that for you? So God, that is what honestly gets me excited for this week is to remember that the suffering and the things that Jesus went through for us. I mean, the lashes and the pain all for us, for me, for you. People who, you know, we're, we were not doing right. And God said we have a problem of sin that needs to be fixed and needs to be corrected. And so God sent his son because that was the only sacrifice that was sufficient enough that would end it. And give us like a clean slate. That's why they say that we are as white and pure as snow. Because Jesus came to come in for us, to save us, to redeem us. And now we will have another life and we will rise. We're not destined and doomed to the grave. But one day, just like Jesus, we will rise. So that is what gets me about this week. It's what makes me happy. And it makes me, it makes me cry sometimes to just think about the pain that Jesus went through. Sometimes we can be so wretched, we can be so undone, we can be so unperfect. 
But God looks at you and your imperfections and says you're you're worth it. You were worth dying for. That is love. If if you don't know anybody, God loves you. And he loves you just the way that you are. Yeah. Jesus was an upsetter. You know, he was the one that was, um, people didn't always get it. We have the Romans who were accusing him and calling him, saying he's not the king of the Jews, mocking him, laughing, you know, thinking that it's funny. And the whole time, Jesus was dying for them to save their souls, which is why on the cross, what did he say? Father, forgive them. Forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. They don't get it. They, they don't know. But now looking back on it, I'm sure if, if, if they would have get another chance, they wouldn't have taken the route that they took. So thank God for baby Jesus. Thank God for, for Jesus coming down and saving us because we could not save ourselves. It wasn't a problem that we could fix. It was all a problem that Jesus could fix. Jesus waffle feathers. You know, people don't like. They don't like that when you go against, against what they think should be. But he knew, Jesus knew that he had an assignment. He knew he had a purpose, and he was going to fulfill it. He was going to do it. So he stayed on track, even when he cursed the fig tree, even when he cried and yelled out. In agony or in pain, he stayed the course because he knew he had a purpose and an assignment on his life. And that is what gets me the suffering, the pain that he went through just for me, just for you. And he still would come back and he would do it again because he honestly believes that we're worth it. Amen. So God, God, we thank you. We thank you for coming and saving us. When we could not save ourselves. And for the rest of our lives. And especially this week. And honestly every day. We're going to always thank you. We're going to always give you the praise. And we're going to make sacrifices. And we want you to know. That you can count on us. To spread the gospel. And spread the good news. To those who may not even know who you are. So God we thank you. We thank you on today. We we love you. And we're always going to honor you. Thank you for the sacrifice. It's because of you that we are not destined to the grave. But we too will rise. To be with our Father in heaven. I'm glad about it. And I know that you're glad about it. Do you know that even when Jesus was on the cross. And he was up there with another person up there named Barabbas that the people were so hateful that they actually said to give us Barabbas who was an actual criminal and allow Jesus to continue to lose his life that that's crazy to me Jesus did nothing wrong he didn't say anything wrong he didn't do anything wrong he didn't do anything wrong. All he said was, I am the king of the Jews. That's it. He spoke truth. Because he is. And they said, give me the criminal. That's crazy. So let us remember to make a sacrifice this week. Give up something. Just so that we can show back to God, back to Jesus that we are grateful and we are thankful and we're willing to do something sacrificial just to recognize that we are thankful for that. We're thankful for us being saved and we appreciate it. Try to give up something this week. See how you do with it. Like I said, I'm actually doing a fast where I don't eat during certain times or whatnot. You decide that for yourself and remember that God loves you just the way that you are. And celebrate this week. For our Lord has risen again. Amen. So, 
If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, click like, share the broadcast, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're going to give up this week. What sacrifice are you going to make? And until next time, peace.